Hey there, welcome to the Overcomers of Relapse Podcast. I am D, your host. This is episode 5 of season 8 of my podcast. So welcome to all listeners out there. It is great to share this experience with you. We will be starting off each podcast episode with, you know what, my favorite, great, great meditation track. And I tell you, man, I say it all the time. I love this track. Listeners from all over insist that I constantly play this track because they love it as well. It helps relieve the tension and stress we all deal with in our everyday busy lives. So sit back and enjoy. I will be right back with today's topic and discussion. So come on, relax, and place all of those life problems and concerns on pause. Let's take a flight on Angel Wings. Enjoy. Hey, I tell you, man, (laughs) it does it for me every time. It just takes me to a place of serenity and clarity. 
I clear out everything out of my mind, listen to it, and it just gives me peace that passes all understanding. So I hope it does the same for you. Now, before we get started with today's topic, I would like to mention, once again, I have a service that I am offering to the public, and it is called Ask B. Now, this is a service that is located on YouTube that will allow listeners to ask questions on any topic we have discussed on the podcast or any questions you just may have in general. Also, I would like listeners to leave comments or questions in the comment sections of XD YouTube segments. Now, my credentials to answering questions are based on me being a certified life coach, and I am more, more than happy to share answers from my views, my expertise, and my education background, and also offer the listening audience the opportunity to give advice from each other to each other. Hey, that may give us solutions to any matters concerning their well-being. With everyone getting involved, we just may make some sense out of this crazy journey we call life. So come on, please join me. Now, let's get started with today's podcast. I just want to put this out there right from the beginning. This podcast is not only pertaining to relapse as far as drugs, alcohol, or any other addictions. We are open to all topics. However, our main topic is why do we have addictive behaviors and how can we overcome them? On episode five of season eight, I would like to use for a topic. Hey, that looks good on you. Yes, that looks good on you. See, I am always acknowledging my Facebook group the Overcomers of Relapse Lounge. I personally, I am so proud to be the admin of this group and also be a part of a great people lives and view and hear the sharing of their stories and posts in this group. But what I really find so rewarding is looking at the photos, seeing people post of themselves, their photos, clean and now sober. Hey, when I tell you that we have people who have come a long way from where they started when they first became a part of the group, man, it is mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. I just want to say to all of my Facebook group members, Hey, trust me when I say this, that looks good on you. (laughs) See, what is truly amazing about the people in the group that I personally find so inspiring is not only are they looking really well, there are so, so many people in the group that are just ridiculously talented. I mean, I have heard great singers, singing voices, poets, artists, I mean, speakers, you name it. It is just outstanding. One of the things that come to my mind is, it is truly, truly true that beauty can come from ashes. It is like watching the rainbow after the rain. One thing I can tell you is this. Hey, take my advice seriously when I say this. Never, ever completely give up or count out anyone. This happens so often to addicts that are struggling with their recovery. See, people have a tendency to count you out when you are not improving on their time clock. Hey, there are a lot of people who have lost or missed out on some of the most intelligent, loyal, 
gifted and inspiring people simply because they cannot see past an individual's imperfections or a recovery addict relapses. You know, history has taught us that some of the most brilliant minds have had addiction issues. You see, here is the tricky part of life. Sometimes what seems as if it is destroying us, it is actually developing us. It is just sometimes the mystery of a greater processing of us to become the even better version of us after we have been broken and put back together again. To, to see someone develop into something wonderful is just amazing. See, to develop a really, really strong muscle, you have to tear it first. And surprisingly, you are wiser and stronger than you ever been after the healing process. Hey, I am dead serious. It really looks good on you. See, it has been stated, and I personally believe it. Giftings comes without repentance. Now, you may be saying to yourself, hey, I'm not really into Bible verses or religion. But if that is where you think I am going with this, you are mistaken. For example, have you ever met someone that they are just naturally talented at something that you could not do if you practice at it night and day? Hey, sure you have. And it is simply because they simply have a gift for it. See, why is it so difficult to believe? Some of us have a harder time believing this. However, we have no problem accepting the fact that drugging and drinking comes natural for us as substance abusers or alcoholics. <laughs> Or let's take a look at sobers. I mean, look at the NBA, NFL, professional boxers, singers, etc., etc. Hey, some of these people are so naturally talented. Man, take it from me. I can promise you this. I will not be me. I will not be missed by the NBA or the NFL. No, sir. I just don't have that gift. Hey, but that is okay because most likely they cannot do what I do. Could you imagine a world if we all use our gifts and talents to complement each other instead of always competing with each other. See, I personally believe if we live by this example, we will come to the understanding that gifts are given for the ability to give. Let me repeat that. Gifts are given to us for the ability to give and share with each other and not to be looked upon with jealousy and envy toward each other. You know, a lot of great music has been created by great musicians throughout the ages of time. Now, what is really special about this is in a lot of cases, most cases, it is more than one person who creates a beautiful song filled with unforgettable melodies and heartfelt 
lyrics. I mean, in most cases, one person comes up with the music, one with the lyrics, and one with the voice, and in spite of the arguments and differences of opinions during the creating process, three gifted people continue, continue joining their talents together to create something so beautiful it touches the whole world in a song that is universal accepted by that that hear it. See, the point I am making is if we all come together and bring what we have to offer to the table and it is accepted in a positive way, flaws and all, and we do not focus on the bumps in the road during the development of each other, but focus on the big picture, the project itself, which is unity, the whole universe will play a whole different tune. Hey, my listening friends, let's come together and use our gifts and talents to embrace the strength and beauty that is in all of us and release it unto the world. Hey, you know what they say. If you are beautiful on the inside, it has no choice but to shine on the outside. Because one thing is for sure, when your talents and gifts are shining through, no one, no one can argue the fact that, hey, that looks really good on you and you wear it well. Well, that's it for episode five, season eight. Please visit my website, The Overcomers of Relapse Lounge. It is listed on the screen. Also, feel free to post on blog, share thoughts, and also feel free to chat. Contact information is on there also, along with a lot of great music. Also, hey everybody, please let me be able to see your photos, your postings. Come join us on my Facebook group called Overcomers of Relapse Lounge. You know we already have a lot of great inspiring posters and just a great group of people to chat with. And please remember, check out Ask the Beat segments on YouTube. Hey, let me know your opinions and thoughts. And also if you would like to be a guest on the podcast. Thanks again for joining me. And I will talk to you all again very soon. Take care of yourselves out there. Bye bye. Uh, grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage of the things that I can, and the wisdom to love the girls. Go, 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 no, no, no. Said I'll never do it again. No, 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 no. Man, I said. No, 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 said I never do it again. No, 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 well, I'm no, 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 Said I never do it again. No, 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 no. Miss the detox. Oh, no, 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 no. Said I never do it again. No, 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 no. Said I never do it again. No, 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 no. Said I never do it again. No, 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 no. Said I never do it again. No, no.
no, no, no. I said I'll never do it again. No, 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 no. Oh, well, so again. I'm going back, back to real. 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 Oh, yeah.